All right, so we're going to talk about x-intercepts and y-intercepts today. And first thing is uh, I've driven, drawn some lines. So if you're in class, we're actually going to do this in class. Um, this is more for people at home. You'll see probably almost the exact same lesson. So I'm going to give you a definition. First, x-intercept, the x-intercept is where the line crosses the x-axis. Okay, and the x-axis is the one that goes from left to right. It's where a line crosses it. And it's in this form. It's always going to be a number, wherever it is, and then zero. The y-intercept is where a line crosses the y-axis. And that general form is always going to be zero and then a number. Notice there's a zero in each one of these. So... Um, I think this is your con assignment for Monday, honestly. Is they give you lines, they just want the x and the y-intercept. So, really, you just look. Here's your x-intercept. Here's your y-intercept. So you just got to be able to label those points correctly. Well, if I look, if I label what is my x-intercept, well, I went to the left 3, so it is negative 3, and then 0. And then my y-intercept is, well, it always starts with 0, right? If you go up to the general form again, the y-intercept is always 0 because you're always going to be up or down. You're not going left or right at all. You're going just going up or down on this y-axis. And the y-intercept is 0, 7. All right, next one. So what is the x and the y-intercept on this line? Well, I'm going to do my x-intercept first. It looks like I went over 4. So my x-intercept is 4, 0, and it looks like my y-intercept, I went down 5, so my y-intercept is 0, negative 5. Two more, notice I've abbreviated x-intercept just to x-i-n-t, that's usually how you'll see it. So instead of intercept, they abbreviate as i-n-t, and again, I'm just going x-intercept first, it looks like I'm going to the right 8, so my point is 8, 0, that is my x-intercept. And then my y-intercept looks like it's 0, 7 because I went stayed at 0 and went up 7. There is my y-intercept. Last one. Looks like I went to the left one. So my x-intercept is negative 1, 0. And it looks like I'm going down. My y-intercept is 0, negative 4. So why is this so helpful? Well, it's because when I turn the page, you're, we're going to start seeing equations where what we're going to do is we're going to get an x-intercept and a y-intercept. And once we have those two points, we would be able to graph them because all you need are two points to graph a line. So we're going to be able to graph some equations just by finding their x and y-intercepts. And this is how we do it. All right. So this one says, first one says, and I don't have a ruler with me, so I'm just going to give the intercepts and show the two points. We'll see that they line up. Now, so this has 4x plus 5y equals 0. Well, if you can remember that the x-intercept is where y is equal to 0, and if the y-intercept is when x is equal to 0, basically what you can do, and since this is for those at home, I'm not going to write it out like I would in class, is so if x equals 0, let's, just, well, let's do the y-intercept first. If y is equal to 0, well, then that just becomes 0, right? Because 0 times anything is 0. So if I just take that away, well, if y is equal to 0, now I'm left with 4x equal to 20. Divide both sides by 5, or 4, and you've got x is equal to 5. So on this one, our x-intercept is 5 comma 0. y-intercept is when x is 0. Well, if x equals 0, well, I'm going to cover this, because 0 times anything is 0, well then 5y equals 20, and y is equal to 4, so my y-intercept is 0, 4. So we are able to graph a line just by finding the intercepts, and now when I graph them, there's 5, 0, and my y-intercept is 0, 4, there's my y-intercept. And notice, now I have two points where I could actually draw this line from intercepts, okay? Using that process, again, x-intercept is when y is equal to 0. Well, if y equals 0, well, that y is 0. Now I'm just left with 2x is equal to 2. Well, that's x is equal to 1. So my x-intercept is 1, 0. And now my y-intercept, again, is when x is equal to 0. Well, if x is equal to 0, that makes this 0, because 0 times anything again is 0, and y is just equal to 2. So my y-intercept is 0, 2, and now we have our two points. 
one zero and zero two. Okay. Again, two points I can draw that line. Okay, two more. All right, so now, again, x-intercept, I'll start with that one first. That's when y equals 0. Well, if y equals 0, this just cancels out. And now I'm left with 2x is equal to negative 4. Solve that for x, x is equal to negative 2. So my x-intercept is negative 2, 0. My y-intercept is when x is equal to 0. Well, that's going to cancel this out. And now I have negative y equals negative 4. I can just flip the signs because I want to know what positive y is equal to. Or you can think of it, I could divide. There's like a 1 here. So if this is gone, right, well, I could divide both sides by negative 1. Well, that makes that a positive 4. So my y-intercept is 0, comma, 4. Negative 2, 0, 0, comma, 4. There are my two points. Okay, last one. X-intercept when y is equal to 0. Well, if y is equal to 0, that goes away. And my x-intercept is 8, comma, 0. And then lastly, y-intercept is when x is equal to 0. Well, that's gone. Negative 2y equals 8. Divide both sides by negative 2, and you get y is equal to negative 4. 0, comma, negative 4. All right, now I've got my two points, and unfortunately, this one only goes out to 6, so I'll just kind of eye it. We'll say that's 8, way out there, 8, 0, and then 0, negative 4 is here. And then we could graph it if we had a ruler. But that's how we find intercepts. That's what you'll be doing in class, your first class of this week. All right, have a great day.